What's up, everybody? Today, we're talking about three must-have resources to pass your fundamentals of surveying exam. Someone told me years ago, work smarter, not harder. I want you guys to work smarter, to study more diligently, more focused, and to pass your FS easier. So let's talk about three things, three resources you must have if you want to pass the FS exam. Number one, the NCEES CBT standards, computer-based testing standards for the FS. The FS covers a lot of information, but not everything about surveying. I have so many students who come to us and we ask them, what have you been studying? They tell us, oh, we've been studying how to compute astronomic observations or how to take a Polaris or how to do all this old stuff that guess what? No longer tested on the FS. So when you start studying, before you ever pick up a reference manual or an online course, you've got to download the FS standards. They talk about surveying standards, surveying techniques, mapping, graphic communication, business practices, but there's so much stuff that's in these surveying reference handbooks that are not tested on the FS anymore. So why waste your time studying for stuff you will never see on the exam? So look at the standards, number one. Number two, I've got so many students who show up and they say, oh, I just couldn't remember what was on table A of the ALTA standards. Oh, I just couldn't remember what function to use for trigonometry. Oh, I just couldn't remember how to compute from magnetic declination to true north. It's all in the reference handbook. When you open your FS exam at the testing center, there will be a button at the top corner that will say open a reference or open material, and it's gonna open a 180 page, 180 page reference handbook. Most students have no idea it's even there. So what I tell you to do is go in, download the reference handbook from NCWES, and before your exam ever starts, know what is in the reference handbook and know what is not in the reference handbook. So when you get a question, are cemeteries optional or required on an Alta survey? Before you answer that question, open up page 63 of your reference handbook in the exam room, look at the standards for Alta, look at the table A optional items, and then answer the question. There are so many questions you can answer from this reference handbook. They're freebies. And then number three, number three is the Holy Grail your NCWES approved HP35S. If you have this bad boy programmed, you can do COGO, you can do curves, horizontal and vertical, you can do traversing. It is incredible. A five or 10 minute problem that you would never have time for on the FS is solved in 30 seconds. This thing is crazy. So, Get your reference handbook, get your CBT standards, get your HP 35S pre-programmed, and you will be so far ahead of the game for your FS, you won't even believe it. Good luck, guys. If you found this video helpful and informative, I would appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up button to like the video, and then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way, more people can find this video and it can help them. Plus, when you hit the subscribe button, you'll be able to watch the newest NLC videos as soon as they come out.